Well hello again. Um, this little video is one that really wasn't on my schedule to produce uh, but nevertheless uh, I'm putting it out a lot earlier than I anticipated and I'll clarify why that is as we go through. Um, it's about the 8mm Pixco wide angle lens, ultra wide lens, fisheye <clears throat> for micro four thirds in my case. It is available in different mounts but because I use micro four thirds that's what I've got. Empty box. <clears throat> it comes with um, what I call uh, Chinglish instructions which are incredibly basic. Won't bore you with them. If you're anything like me they go in the bin. Um, it also comes with a very nice blue uh, pouch and the lens itself as you can see is absolutely tiny. Several things to discuss about this lens. Um, it's all metal construction it originates as a CCTV lens, uh, which may or may not have a bearing on what I'm going to say about it. And I believe that natively it is a C-mount lens. Um, and at the factory they fit it permanently, in my case, with a micro four thirds mount. But under normal circumstances it would be supplied as a C-mount. It comes with a pretty awful plastic push-on lens cap which if you really clip it on will stay on okay for a few seconds. Not the best lens cap in the world but you're quite limited with alternatives because of course it has a built-in petal lens hood uh, which is not removable and of course with this design of lens it's not feasible to put any filters on the front. There are other manufacturers who make extreme wide angles stroke fisheye lenses uh, which will accept a filter on the back of the lens. Not with this one. Um, as you've seen this one is Pixco. They come with a few different names on them. Um, it doesn't actually quote fish um, excuse me, it doesn't actually quote Pixco on the lens itself. It simply says fisheye 8mm 4 thirds f3.8. Metal construction as I say, uh, lovely feel to both the aperture ring and the focusing ring, nothing wrong with those. Because it is so tiny it's very useful that they've put two little um, focusing handles if you like, not focusing handles, but handles for your fingers um, so that you can alter the aperture and focusing more easily because it's really a very very slim lens. If I put it onto my EM1 body you get an idea just exactly how tiny it is. Um, it's crazy small. In terms of cost at the moment um, when I'm making this video you can buy it brand new for anything between about £60 and £80 here in the UK so it is a cheap lens. And when I got it about a week ago I went down to a place in south of Liverpool called The Matchworks excuse me for making the noises. I went down to the Matchworks which <clears throat> and I have some uh, clips of video that I shot at the time. I went down there on two separate days actually. Uh, initially I went down with the 12 to 50 mil lens on the OM1 on the sorry EM1. I wish it was an OM1. Uh, I went down there with the 12 to 50 in the expectation that this little lens would have arrived. Sadly, it didn't. So I went back the next day 
with both and I've shot a bit of video on both occasions. The Matchworks factory uh, was built in 1919. By 1923 it was part of the very famous Bryant and May uh, match manufacturing empire. So throughout the vast majority of the 20th century it must have produced millions and millions of boxes of matches. Swan Vestas, England's Glory, whatever it might be. Uh, they closed it down I think in the late 70s or early 80s and then it's been taken over, redeveloped and repurposed by a company called Urban Splash and it's now home to lots and lots of different companies. Um, there are coffee bars down there, uh, there's even a climbing wall. Um, so it, it's multi-purpose. And I've done quite a few stills which you can have a look at <laughs> as we go through the video but there's a couple of things that I want to make perfectly clear about this little lens. First of all um, it's fair to say that I am if anything a wide-angle photographer. The vast majority of my images are taken either with a 50mm equivalent lens on micro four thirds um, or wider. I don't tend to use tele lenses anything like as much. So that's the reason why I've been looking for an ultra wide lens. And rightly or wrongly, as everybody should do, <laughs> um, I trawled YouTube and various internet sites for advice on admittedly cheap ultra wide lenses for micro four thirds and this one was recommended by a couple and this is where my issues begin because basically this lens if I'm being brutal it's rubbish however you could also say well Alan what did you expect um, this cost me £60 brand new what can you expect for £60? Well, in my opinion, you should expect a little bit more than I've been treated to with these images. The first ones that you can see here are straight out of camera and then it's cropped to try and get rid of the worst of the um, fall off in definition at the edges. This second one is a vertical shot, top and bottom are just awful. And even when it's cropped in, um, it still loses, it still retains, sorry, um, the very, very blurred corners. And then these few images are ones which I've edited in post, tweaked slightly and cropped uh, to try and get rid of as much of those out of focus corners and edges as I can. But they really aren't good enough to use in any serious work, I'm afraid. Um, the smearing and just general degradation is it's not good enough I'm sorry for a 60 pound lens <clears throat> I would still expect something better than this um, I have also experimented with uh, this lens in my uh, local park and I'll put some images up for you to have a look at um, as we get towards the end of the video. What can you expect for £60? Fair comment. I have been um, guilty of looking for a lens that will give me um, acceptable quality for that kind of money and this lens simply does not deliver. Um, at f3.8 um, it is pretty much unusable. The centre is acceptably sharp, granted, but the edges and the corners are so far out of focus, um, so far distorted that it is simply unusable. And at 3.8 it doesn't matter how much you crop in to the image, it is basically useless. 
stopping it right down to its maximum, sorry, minimum aperture of f16, brings the edges in to a point, but you still have to crop the image and lose, I think it would be about 50% of the image area before you even uh, begin to get rid of those very, very out of focus, blurry, smeared corners and edges. It simply isn't good enough quality to use on a micro four thirds camera. And because you can get it for APS-C mount, I suspect that the results would be no better. If you are in the market for an ultra wide lens for micro four thirds or APS-C, do not be tempted to go for lenses like this. To be fair to the manufacturer, it is clearly stated that it is designed as a CCTV lens, which may have a bearing on its performance when you put it onto a still camera. I have done some video with it. It's not even worth me showing it to you. The results are just as bad. To say that I'm disappointed is an understatement. Um, it's gonna go back and I'm looking for a higher quality and more expensive ultra wide lens. Now, at the moment, I'm thinking TT Artisans or Seven Artisans, followed closely by a Samyang. I have owned a Samyang in the past. I think it was the 12 mil when I was using it on a Fuji. Um, and that was a cracking good lens. Quite how the, I think it's an eight mil Samyang, how that compares I don't know, I need to do a bit more research. But I just wanted to get this out there quite quickly. You've seen some of the stills that have been taken with this and really they are unusable for serious photography. So I have to be brutal and I have to be honest, there's no point in buying this lens. Save yourself 60, 80 quid, whatever it might be, put that towards a better known and hopefully higher quality lens because this thing will disappoint you. Trust me on that. On that sad note, <laughs> my next video will be a review, which is long overdue to be fair, of the um, 12 to 50 mil uh, Zwicko lens which is as I've said on one of my previous videos it's my go-to lens these days and I realized just the other day that I've not given you guys uh, my opinions on it why I went for this as opposed to the 12 to 40 the pro lens um, I'll give you my thoughts on it in the next video until then enjoy your photography and look after yourselves bye bye for now <laughs>